Why is Type Soul so addicting? This is probably a question every single player has asked themselves. We're gonna go ahead and talk about it in this video on why Type Soul players are so addicted to playing this game. Going from this game just dropped at the right time and there's a lot of things in game that keeps players just going and going and going and going. But if you enjoy this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn off post notifications for more bangers like this every single day. Thank y'all for 11,000 subscribers at 15,000. Once again, we are giving away a ball of fireworks essence and a partial essence. So join the link in the description to go enter that giveaway. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video, man. Though for those of you that don't know, Cetra was the owner of a Type Soul copy and Type Soul was kind of dead at the time and this game was taking over and he decided to buy over Type Soul and he saw the perfect opportunity to drop this game, bro. There was no content coming out for months, bro. We were about in a six, seven month drought with no content since Peroxide dropped everybody was so excited and playing that game but it just started drying out their updates weren't very consistent so Zetra went ahead and made his plan with the dev team to drop this game at the best time possible in the beginning of the year we thought we were gonna get some really good games tales of tenario a bunch of other games rng games became a thing and everybody hated this route bro people had no they had no route to go to. They had nothing to play. There was all these garbage games, people spamming tower defenses, cash grabs, scamming people, and Type Soul decided to drop at the perfect time when not only was Peroxide dead, but no other game was popping on the Bleach anime Roblox verse right at the time. So, what happened, guys? Tons of players wanted to go ahead and play Type Soul. The old people who were playing Type Soul, the OGs wanted to go back to it and realize once playing this game with actually a good developer to team that is updating the game consistently, that this game is actually really fun. And when they didn't make it where we had to do 175 raids to go ahead and get our Bankai and stuff like that, and things actually became more achievable. You didn't have to have a 12 hour timer just to hit elite grade or just to hit special grade bro so they made the game a lot more viable a lot more playable and a lot of people definitely hopped onto this and for the new players they wanted to find out damn what i miss out in type soul because that's one thing type soul died in like three weeks to a month bro it wasn't something everybody got a chance to play a lot of people were neglecting it putting it off and then by the time they got to it it was dead bro but one huge thing in type soul as well that makes it so addicting is the RNG in its own game as a lot of people don't see it like that but they give us codes they give us all these things that we can do we can do 2v2s we can go into raids boss raids clan wars and get rerolls and what are rerolls you're pretty much RNG for items guys everybody wants the legendaries everybody wants the best thing in the game the new metas so they give us codes and let us roll over and over and over and over and a lot of people aren't realizing that's actually what you're doing you're not you're, you're actually playing a game sure you do have the combat the game's actually really fun i personally enjoyed the game and was addicted to it for a bit as well and i know a lot of others are and even though there is some repetitive parts to the game most people want to roll for the 0.5 mythicals which weren't even in the game it was legendaries everybody wanted ice everybody wanted ink everybody wanted theater but now you want benahime now you want kyokos wegetsu now you want death dealing and that's what's making players so addicted to type soul what can I say? They just pulled off the perfect stunt for 2024 and they might actually take over the beginning of the summer as well, guys, because think about it. We are not getting Rel Seeds until a little bit later. Jujutsu Infinite, I haven't even heard of. No YouTuber has posted on it in months. For all I know, the game has died out and the hype has died out for a lot of these games. We were supposed to get Paradox. We were supposed to get Bleach Revival, but I think with how great Type Soul is doing right now, they are scared to drop their game because it won't be so good for them if a lot of people don't like their game because they have a backup type soul doesn't need a backup or it doesn't have to be a backup right now because peroxide died out there's no other bleach game in verse with it right now nothing in competition so i think a lot of games are holding back for the time being and trying to let type soul die out a little bit before they release their games but it might actually carry the summer bro we are going to be getting the whole phase two we're getting hellverse which we're i don't know how we're getting that before peroxide because they said they were going to release it 
next Friday, like 10 Fridays ago, bro. I don't know what happened with Peroxide, but they are slacking right now. We've been seeing some new sneaks. They are dropping Senbo and Zakata. They are dropping Hellverse at some point. I saw a Stark Dog. I don't know what they're going to be doing with that, but... For right now, guys, Type Soul looks like it's going to be on its era for a long period of time. I think a lot of people even quit Deep Woken to play Type Soul as well. A lot of people were just hyped to play a new game. As long as they don't mess it up, as long as they keep the update schedule going and don't delay it over and over and over like they have been recently, then I think it will stack up and last through the entire summer. You guys let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section down below. Do not forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you haven't already because I'm posting every single day, guys. But I'm going to catch you on the next one. Comment down below what you would like to see next. As always, it's Elixo. Peace.